In this video, I'm gonna be explaining what is and how to use the customer portal inside of Zoho CRM. I'll go into detail on how to set it up, um, how to give access to customers so they can see their data and how to create different types of users or user groups for the portal. So you can have an affiliate, a vendor, and they will all see different information about themselves. Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick. Just before we get into this video, if you are signing up to Zoho CRM for the first time, it would be greatly appreciated if you could use my link below. It really does help the channel out. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So once you log into Zoho CRM, you're gonna to come to the home screen. Now, in order to use the portals area inside of the system, what we need to do is go to the cog up the top right hand corner here, and then we wanna to go to the channels area, and then down the very bottom, we wanna to go to portals. Now, I've not used portals at all yet, so I'll be running you through the entire process. So firstly, we need to press the get started now button. And this is where we can assign the um, kind of like the name of the business to the link that we'd be sharing. So I'm gonna call it CRM crew as that's a business. It's probably gonna pre-populate with your business name. So once you've done that, just press the configure now button. As you can see, the basic information, that is the login and the portal name. Just press the next button again, and this will then create our client portal. So now we've created our client portal, we can now go ahead and start customizing the portal to um, allow the, uh, the users or the contacts that we're granting access to the portal, um, the certain things that we do, or consequently do not want them to be able to see inside of the portal. So as you can see here, we've got our portal that's now been generated. If we click onto the portal, you can see here, we have got uh, the, all of the modules that we can give portal users access to. But what we want to do is go ahead and configure this. And we're probably going to want to change this depending on what you are using your portal for. So what we want to do is we want to press portal tab configuration. There's field permissions down the bottom, but if you, if you click at the top and we will come on to that later in this video. So portal tab configuration, press the edit button. And as you can see, the uh, portal tab configuration, once we've completed that, we'll just move us onto the field permissions anyway. But from here, this is where we're going to select the modules that we're going to give um, the users access to. So whoever's using the portal, we will obviously want to decide what they're going to be able to do and which modules they're going to be able to see. And then after that, we'll select which fields they can and can't use. But at the moment, we've got all of these different modules selected and we can unselect these or select them as we so wish. So let's say for this for this portal, we do not want them to be able to see the, the sales orders, purchase orders or quotes that is associated with them as a contact. OK, so all you have to do is unselect them. And then if you do decide to reselect them, just make sure you select the uh, default list view and the contact name that may change if you save it and then come back. OK, so we've unselected the uh, the modules that we do not want our uh, users or our portal users to be able to see. Now we can select the layout. So if you've got different layouts for these modules, you can select which layout you'd like to show them. Um, obviously, it's going to replicate the, the layout that you have inside the actual Zoho CRM system. I don't have any custom layouts, so I'll leave that be. And then from here, this is our permissions area. And this is where we can assign or grant permissions for the users of the portal. So if, let's say on the deals, you see the drop down menu. We've got a few different options. We've got edit shared delete, edit, and create. So we could have edit shared so there are any records, any deal records that have been actually shared with the portal. Or you can just press create, edit, and delete, and this is where they can create their own deal records, edit record deals, uh, deal records, and then delete deal records as well. <clears throat> Bear in mind that if you select edit, they can, they can also create. You can't just have edit by itself, but if you select cre uh, create, you can have create by itself. So this is going to allow users inside of the portal to create their own deals, things like that. So let's say create, edit, and we don't want them to delete any information. So again, you can go through each of the different modules and select the permissions for each module. And then from here, you've got list view. So if you've got a few different list views, you can select which one. And then finally, we've got filter by. It's always really going to be the contact name apart from for cases. And that is on the related to, but you're not going to have any other options there. Finally, once you are happy with obviously the modules that they're going to see and the access or permissions they have, just press the next button. And this is going to take us to our field permissions page. Now, this is where we can select the fields that we would like them to be able to see or and then obviously consequently edit and 
create as well. So for our contacts area, it was just a read only. So we are saying that the, uh, the users of the portal are gonna be able to see their first name, their salutation, their last name, their email address. And we can select and unselect any of the other fields as well. It's very, very simple. Just make sure once you've completed this and gone through the list of fields that you'd like them to see and not see, press the save and next button. Do not click away. I've made that mistake before and you will lose all of your work. So press the save and next button and then you'll go to the next module, which is obviously the deals. Now anything business required is gonna be set as automatic like it has to be there, especially if they're creating something. So you've got deal name, closing date, pipeline, and stage. But again, you can add additional information. But remember, when you're adding the fields on the deals area, because we set it, they would be able to edit and create. They're going to have access to that information, and they will be able to edit and create deals. Okay. So moving on from there, you then go to your quotes, and then finally your cases as well. Um, if if that's going to load, there we go. And then save and next, or just press the finish button if you didn't have any further changes. And you'll be able to see the, here these in the client portal. These are the modules that they're going to have access to. And you can see the permissions as well. Now, if I just press the back button quickly up the top left hand corner, what we want to do is we want to enable our portal. So we want to select the status as being on. So this means that people are going to have access to the portal. You can turn this on and off as much as you want. Maybe there's a point in the month that you want to turn it on and then turn it off um, Whoever signs up to the portal will always have access provided the status is on. If you turn it off, they won't. And then if you turn it back on again, they will get their access back. Okay. So if we go back into that client portal, you can see here all of that information. Again, if you want to change anything, you can do it very, very easily. Now, I'm just going to give you a preview of the portal. So if you press portal preview, this is what it's going to look like. You've got contacts, deals, quotes, and cases. So as you can see here, you've got the deals. Uh, for the name, the contact name, closing date, things like that. All of that information is going to be there. Quotes, cases, uh, all of that. So that is kind of what they're going to see or any users. Now, when it comes to users and inviting them, just go from configuration to users up the top here. Press invite users and then you need to select the contact that you are inviting to the portal. So if I were to select myself and then just press send invitation, the Zoho CRM system would then email them a link and they would have to create a password and sign up and then they would have access to the portal. And it'd be really just as simple as that. They can then access the information that we have configured for them to have access to. OK, and the portal preview is obviously it's kind of what they're going to see. They're going to be able to see all of the information that you have enabled them to see. Now, if we press the back button, there's one other thing that we can do using portals. And that is create a user type. Now, this is a very, very clever feature. So up the top right hand corner here, it says create user type. And this is if you have got different types of users for your portal. So this means that you might have users that need access like the vendor side of things. So these might be vendors and then you might have uh, affiliates that need to access a different side of things. So maybe you've got an affiliate and they want to put a deal on because they know that's going to go through. That's how you could track that information. And you can start differentiating them and breaking them up. So let's call this uh, portal user type an affiliate, right? And then from here, we need to press the next button. It's kind of like setting up another portal. Press the next button. We need to configure what they will and won't have access to down the bottom here. But what we can do is we can select the module that they are based off. OK, so in the first portal, it was contacts and it's always going to be contacts for the first portal. But on the when we're creating additional user types, we could say that maybe they're a lead or maybe they're a vendor. Right. So if we say they're a vendor um, and we'd select the vendor and invite them as a vendor as opposed to inviting them as a contact, then we're only going to see the, uh, the modules that are have, that have a relationship with the vendor. So you can see here we've got contacts, products, purchase orders, and we can again unselect and select as we so wish to have to grant them access or consequently not grant them access. Right. But. It's, it's very clever because it gives you different areas of the system to invite people to from, invite people from. So you've got the leads area, as you can see here, there is no relationship with any, any other module inside of the Zoho CRM system with the leads area. And that is obviously intentional because I like to describe, as I'm sure you may know, the leads area as a dumping ground. So you just chuck data in there. You do not want it polluting the rest of the system. So maybe they're a lead, um, but on, honestly, it could be anything. You can have contacts. 
and then you go through the uh, portal tab configuration and then the field permissions as well and this is entirely separate to the first portal that we created and then you can invite users again and it would be from leads or vendors or contacts depending on which one you had just set up so if we then click the back button you can see here we've now got essentially an affiliate portal and we've got a client portal and obviously we can change these as we so wish as well if you go to the client portal you can just click it at the top and maybe change it so maybe this has been set up for vendors um, just change the name click the uh, tick button and you see we've got vendors affiliates things like that it is a very useful tool so maybe we invite affiliates and they can only see certain things and vendors can only see other certain things um, and then they can sign up and they log in and they can see the information that we would like them to hopefully this video has been useful i appreciate it's a bit long a bit of a long-winded video the the portal is definitely definitely worth using it's a very very powerful tool um, and hopefully you're now familiar with the portal inside of zoho crm I will see you in a moment. Hopefully you are now very familiar with the customer portal inside of Zoho CRM. You can go ahead and set it up and then start inviting all of your different customer types into the portal so they can access the relevant data you would like them to see. If you have found this video at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any further questions at all, you are more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.